The quarterback is Don Lampka. He has Wakefield out. He's back for a pass. He has plenty of time. He throws downfield, and it is caught. It's intercepted. It's intercepted by Darden. Darden intercepted his second interception of the afternoon, his fourth of the season, and Michigan takes over on the 32-yard line, and Woody Hayes is out on the field. Woody Hayes is out trying to intimidate the officials. Woody Hayes is out there right now, and I would rest assured that Ohio State will be penalized now because Woody Hayes felt that Tommy Darden interfered with his intended pass receiver. And Woody Hayes is right out there on that field, and he's being penalized 15 yards. Listen to the crowd. As Woody Hayes is furious, he is screaming right up into the face of the umpire and the referee, and in a moment he's going to be kicked out of this ball game. Woody Hayes, one of the great coaches of all time, has just lost his cool because he's out on the field. This has happened to great coaches in the past. They've lost football games. As a matter of fact, you might say that with all his wins and awards and his Rose Bowl rings, it seems foolish, but Woody Hayes dwells in a unique jungle. The more you win as a great head coach, the more that's expected of you. Nobody escapes it. It's the elevator going up and down, Woody. It's been the same for all the great coaches, Yost, Chrysler, Daryl Royal, Vince Lombardi, and the final statement of that little oration by you for is, that the magnified despair of defeat is the agony of success. Woody Hayes right now is suffering from the magnified despair of defeat, which is the agony you have to take when you're a successful coach. Make no mistake about it. You can't blame Woody for what he just did now. He's fighting his hearts out for the scarlet and gray because he's been a great coach and he felt he was treated unjustly. And boy, that's a sign of a great coach. He'll battle regardless of the rules. 